sure no one gets overexcited. Uh, and so as not to dampen our spirits, we have called an extraordinary session up the Court of Justice Jan Trugigo! Bring the prisoner before me! Bring the prisoner, bring the prisoner! Bring the prisoner. <laughs> what what is is what Beast! You are charged with Beastly behaviour! You're a wild and rude, unkempt wild. and uncivilised! Uncivilised! Your rampaging has spread clamour and alarm! You have disturbed the peace! You have frightened the children! You are a deviation from the acceptable! Deviation! You are an affront to decency! Decency! How do you plead? So, this court doth award you be drawn upon hurdles to the place of execution. Execution. Hang by the neck. Neck. And being alive, cut down. <laughs> Quite hammy stuff going on at the back. <laughs> your privy members be cut off. <laughs> and your entrails be taken out of your body. Burn on a day like the day. <laughs> Your head be cut off, your body divided into the four corners and sent to the four corners of the land of Cornwall. Over there. Over As there. an example to other rebellious spirits. At the pleasure of the King's Majesty. I wager my old whole dear that this beast is guilty. Guilty. I will defend this beast as best I may, but will cause no harm on your festive day. With compelling evidence and mitigation, I will disprove Tregeagle's false allegation. <laughs> to win this case and solve the mystery, 
I'm going to call them several characters from Cornish history. You're a clever boy. Go if right you don't there. believe the words I say, step in King Hal and show us the way. Call the King Hal! I won this crown of gold. If your blood is hot, I'll soon make it cold. <laughs> With his sharp teeth and scurvy jaw, of such I'll cut up half a score and stay my stomach till I've had more. So, Sir Beast, fight me! Fight! 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 Ah, Sir Beast, too hot to fight. You may. Whew. So, a different tack I will take. Gentlemen, I stuck the beast with my sharp pick. He didn't quake or quiver. So, I'm going to bound him beyond the Tamar River. Oh, Tamar Now, Tamar good doggy, you stay. Hogan, this is a level. I call Michael, Joseph, and Gove of St. Cameron, and Thomas Flamenc, who was a born and born. Call and Gove and We, the Cornish men, some of us not understanding a single word of English do utterly refuse this new English. Path you cope, Michael Joseph and go. Remember Michael Joseph the Smith and Thomas Flamank. Thomas Flamank. Pat <laughs> <laughs> Hendrin Kizzy and Lou Knewick. Leaders of the Cornish army! Cathians bees to Lundry! Who marched to London town! I get us. I get her. Come back. The Iron's lover. And there did suffer vengeance! I call... Wait for it. Sir Anthony Kingster. Oh, I come, Sir Anthony. My rules are firm, but fair. If you're Cornish, you will hang. Oh. <laughs> and it includes your mare. With this, my hangman's hemp in hand. Well, he who is not fit to hang, well, he is not fit to stand. <laughs> now, gentle, simple, sweet. Cornish folk, do not give up hope that it would be a very weak and scrawny neck that fears this little rope. That's mine, then. What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? I have it, I have it, I have it. What are we? What are we? What are we? is tongue is I love our coat, you love our wear. The old saying is a true saying. Never bought more stars, that was right here. <laughs> Never did good come of a tongue too long. Yes. <laughs> yes. Peace and tavis. A gun as he dare. But a man without a tongue has lost his land. Hogan, disc and buzzer, Colonel. Disc and level. Learn the beat of the dance, Colonel. Learn to suffer.